Hey, Captain Community, I'm Andy Grabner, and I just finished a tutorial, Captain Quality Gates with Dynatrace using K3S. And I thought I wanna walk through the installation steps with you to really show you how easy this is, because I know a lot of you are interested in Quality Gates. So Quality Gates is really all about automating the extraction of data from a monitoring tool like Dynatrace. And instead of you looking at dashboards and analyzing the data, Captain can do this for you. Now, what I've done is I just walk through the tutorial here, installing of Captain on K3S. I have a Linux machine I'm running on EC2. So this is my SSH, uh, my shell. Uh, I'm here, everything is clean, nothing is going on. Uh, what else do I have here? Um, I have already created uh, particular things that I need, like uh, a Dynatrace token. Um, I have an API token. I've also created a pass token. So in case you don't know how this works, in Dynatrace, you can go to uh, settings, integration, Dynatrace API, and then you just create a token based on the prerequisites that I've put into the tutorial. Same is true for the pass token. The pass token is needed for installing the one agent because my installation scripts also automatically put an agent on your K3S so we can fully monitor it. And other than that, what else I need is my Dynatrace tenant URL. If you have managed, it will be your managed URL slash E slash environment ID. And that's really all I need. Now let's go back. What do I need to do? First, on my Linux machine, I need to take this and I need to install a bunch of tools like Git, like curl, JQ, tree, and also YQ. This is all. This should still be empty here. All good. Now, the next thing I need to clone my Git repo that contains actually all of my samples. That's the captain on K3S and the captain sandbox. So I'm just doing this and then check out the latest branch, which means we're all good. And we actually have this installation script here. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to export all these variables. Now I've prepared this. So let me walk over to here. Now, remember these tokens are all temporarily, so I will delete them. But important is that, whoops, uh, I'm just posting them in here. Um, Token and tenant is clear. The owner email, that's my email, my username in my Dynatrace environment. The reason why this is important is because we are creating some dashboards later on automatically and we're using that email. That's the username that creates the dashboard. And I'm also using uh, Let's Encrypt to generate an SSL certificate. And because this is just a temporary one on, an, on a domain name that is very temporary, I'm just specifying that. Okay, next thing is, uh, in my tutorial, I give different installation options. I use the first one. This is just installing Captain the control plane. So I'm posting this in. This will run for a little bit. It will install K3S. It will then install uh, Captain on it. It will install Gitty. It will install all the different components. You know, it's cre creating uh, certificates and, and all that stuff. So, um, while this is running, let me just put pause here because this will take about five minutes depending on how fast, especially the certificate stuff is. Um, so let me pause here and I'll come back in a second. All right, I am back. I think it was about five minutes and you can see that my captain is now fully installed. So the end of my installation script really says explore more. There's a lot of text here that uh, gives me overview of what is actually has been installed and how I can access Captain. And this is actually what I want to focus on as well. But just as a reminder, this is also all documented here in the installation. This is the output of the script that tells you how you can access your Captain, your bridge, your API token. Also, I'm installing Git as a Git service. Uh, and also for the individual use cases, like particularly for the quality Git use case, uh, how we can get started. But let me show you quickly by following my links what has been installed. Most important is I can get to the captain's bridge. This is the bridge here. Uh, yes, it is as uh, uses a certificate, but it's self-signed. Uh, so that's why you can safely go over this. If you obviously use this in production, you would create your own certificates. Now, the username by default is captain. The password of the bridge will also be shown here. Sign in and let's see if this works then I should see captain in a second. Now, one thing that you will see here, the IP address uses exip.io. So we're just using this DNS feature to have a DNS name on your IP address. 
but it doesn't mean that anybody can go to you, to your site. If this is an internal IP, this is just something where we can then use subdomains easily because now you can see all of my projects. The project relevant for this tutorial is the Dynatrace project. But let me also immediately open up Git because I think this is very important. So I've defined an upstream Git into a self-hosted Git environment here. This is where you can see the shipyard file that was used, right? I can zoom in. This is great. You can also see the Dynatrace conf file, for instance, that is used. And because this is a single stage shipyard file with the quality gate stage here, and here are additional things like, hey, there is, I'm using Monaco monitoring as code to automatically create dashboards. So this is a great way to explore also and modify the files. Now let's go back to Captain. I have my Dynatrace project here. This is where I have the quality gate stage. Let's click on services. The default one that was created was the demo service because remember we wanted to get you quick up and running. And after the installation, a quality gate was immediately triggered. That means you already see uh, a quality gate result with a couple of metrics also with the individual values. Now you may wonder where do these metrics all come from? Well, if you click on the little bar here, you get to see the heat map in full screen and you also get a dashboard link because remember what also happened as part of delivery, as part of the quality gate, I'm using Monaco. Monaco means monitoring as code. As part of my demo, this dashboard was fully automatically created, meaning these are metrics that you hopefully have on your Dynatrace environment anyway. As soon as you have one service monitored, this dashboard should show some value. And I just came up with some default thresholds. Doesn't mean that this is exactly what works for you, but to show you that every time you run the quality gate, this dashboard will be analyzed. Now. Talking about running another quality gate, uh, if I go back to my uh, uh, terminal window here, then under the first section here, the quality gate use case, it tells me how I can trigger a new quality gate. And I'm just doing this through the uh, Captain uh, CLI, Captain Trigger Evaluation. So Captain Trigger Evaluation for this project, for this stage and uh, for this uh, service. Here we go, it triggers it. Captain is an event-driven system. This was my request to trigger a new quality gate. Uh, I also get the token back, so I can also use now the API or the CLI to ask when it's finished. I can do a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of great things. I can also go back now to my Dynatrace project, services, demo. Now I see my second quality gate being evaluated. All right, now there's more you can do with this. Uh, but I thought I want to show you how fast you can install Captain. You can get it up and running. There's also more use cases, as you can see here, remediation, performance, delivery, advanced. I will create more tutorials, but hopefully this shows you that this is really, you know, super easy. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.